Hey, I'm Kevin. Or am I Kevin? No, I'm Jackie. You guys knew that. I hope you did. Hey, I'm Tony Bancroft. I'm the co-director of Disney's Animated Mulan, and I created Pumbaa and Kronk. Hi, I'm Kira. I'm the lead animator of The Good Advice Cupcake and The Voice, too. Today, we're going to be drawing... What are we drawing, Jason? We're drawing Disney princesses. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I don't know the subjects until I actually start drawing, you guys. I don't know if you know that. But first, be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this medium Wacom Intuos tablet courtesy of our good friends at Wacom. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Owl. Interrupting Owl who? You're supposed to interrupt me. Oh, that's how it works. You don't know how that joke works? Wait, 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 wait. You go first. Wait, you I'm say, not doing no, it No, you say knock, knock. <sighs> wait, come on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Owl. What are we doing? I swear to God, <laughs> Jackie. Today you'll be drawing Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Belle. Oh. I worked on Beauty and the Beast. Really? Yeah, but oh, not Belle. Not Belle whatsoever. You did Cogsworth. I did Cogsworth, yeah. So if you put Cogsworth in a dress, that might be what my drawing looks like. Elsa. Uh, who's oh. Elsa again? But is she the ice queen or is she the sister? Ice one. Okay. Like, front of the DVD box. Snow White. <gasps> That's my favorite Disney princess! Seriously? Yeah, she's my favorite! Wow, you like them old school. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, I just, I like her aesthetic the most. Okay. Ready, go! So, Tony, how was your experience on Beauty and the Beast? I was a, actually an animating assistant when I first started on Beauty and the Beast and got, uh, I rose up to being an animator, so it was like a big promotion for me. But more than that, I just really loved the story. I mostly was doing comedy characters at, at Disney anyway, and so I did Cogsworth the Clock on Beauty and the Beast. I just had a great time on that film. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. It is mine, and I've seen it a ton, and I love Belle, and I have no idea what she looks like <laughs> in this movie. I've only seen the first movie, and I thought it was just okay. <laughs> she does, hold on, she does like the like yeah. hip walk out the door. And she has like Iceman powers, right? Yeah, right? she's like Iceman from X-Men. I'll put it in a context you can understand, Jason. <laughs> Jackie, how you been? <sighs> you know. You, uh, you got a new job. I got a new job! Yeah, what are you doing? I work as a storyboard revisionist. Okay. I work on a show called Centaur World. <laughs> Shout out to my crew on Centaur World. Yeah? I love you guys. Uh, well, that's very exciting. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, it'll come out one day. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how long it takes to make an animated show. It takes a long time. You know what else takes a long time to make? This show. Oh Everybody's God. so impatient. When's the oh, next draw really? coming out? When's the next draw coming out? Yeah. Well, here it is, friends. Kevin's tired of your <laughs> <laughs> So, Tony, is there any tips that you can give in terms of Disney princess construction? It's funny you ask that because a lot of people think that the Disney princesses look very similar and that the Disney basically can only draw like that one aerial type Glen Keane kind of looking female heroine. But there, there's actually quite a little, quite a bit of difference, I think, when you look at the design of these girls. The big thing is, you know, they tend to have big eyes, right? And features very low on their face, I would say. And they all end up looking like Cogsworth after I draw them. <laughs> <laughs> Same That's, here. Have you seen Frozen? You know, I saw the first Frozen movie and I was not a fan, but I'm also like not the demographic. <laughs> right. But I saw it because everyone was just like, oh my God, Frozen, it's incredible. And I was like, all right, I'll watch it. I like cartoons. Who doesn't like a good cartoon? And then I saw it and I was like, mm. did I like the music. Did you see the Oscar nominated Frozen 2? I did not see that one. Did you see it? Yeah, it was very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that on camera. I was Snow White for Halloween and I don't remember how to draw her. Since we can't really remember, maybe we should just try to ape the Disney style as much as possible. What makes you think I know anything about the Disney style? I don't know. Didn't you draw Disney characters growing up? I drew Naruto growing up. Oh, that's and right. And Pokemon. Okay. I didn't. I didn't like Disney princesses that much. You know what? Neither did I. Well, I think it's because when I was a kid, I was like, I'm not like the other girls. I don't like Disney princesses. Is that how you spoke when you were a kid? Yeah, it was really scary. I had something wrong with me. Wow. No wonder you weren't like the other girls. I'm not like the other girls. I have a irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> Kira, do you have a favorite Disney movie from, and were you a fan of the like the 90s era of Disney films? I love like every Disney movie. It's so hard to choose which one's my favorite. I really love Lilo and Stitch, The oh. Lion King. I really like the Aristocats too. 
Arisa cats. Yeah, people don't mention the Arisa cats enough. I think I that's a, that's one of my favorites too, just from a design standpoint. So Jackie, yeah. do you remember all seven of the dwarfs? Name them. Okay, sad, happy, depressed, anxiety, mm -hmm. IBS. <laughs> Two more. Overwatch. And? Dopey. You got it. All seven, baby. You got it. Did you grow up singing the songs? Did you yes. have a princess dress? That's what I want to know, really. <laughs> no, I loved Cogsworth. <laughs> <laughs> you really did. You I know? really I thought genuinely you were just saying that. No, genuinely. That's why I got excited when I found out that you animated on him. What was it that you liked about Cogsworth, though? Because he's not the, the normal favorite. <laughs> I don't know. I was like a really small child, and I just like thought he was really cute. So how have you been since last season? Oh my god, Jason. <laughs> I haven't seen you since, was it December? Or when was the we last time? We have not seen each other at all since that time. It's been agony being apart from you, Jason. I'm just gonna be honest, you know? I call, I text. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't reach you. Don't um, know what happened. Your wife is screening your text messages. <laughs> You know, being so tall, like, it's really hard for me when the Cintiq is really low. So the nice thing about Wacom is that they, they have a great design here to be able to really bring it up high so that I, now I can get down to the bottom of the shoes on Bill. That really helps save a little bit of back. Because this baby didn't, don't got no back. What was it like directing on Mulan? You know, it was like a real roller coaster for me. As an artist, I really loved that opportunity and, and grew so much, and yet, being kind of having to deal with management issues. That was the tough part because in art school, you know, they don't teach you anything about how to manage a group, but I, I got into it and I just loved the cast and crew. You know, they, the directors don't, don't do the hard work anyway. It really is about the artists and the other animators. What was that? That was the gate shutting. And so you audience members can't see our final drawings until we switch. Jason, you're just tip tapping away. What's going on over there? You know, there? Um, I've like resorted to pointillism. <laughs> <laughs> a new, a new expressionist art style. Yeah, I like it. I'm like this. I like this is, new development. It's actually making my drawing look better. So I know that you're working on Space Jam 2. Yeah. What can you tell us about it? Very little without killing you, Kira. Oh. So I'll <laughs> keep it brief. But uh, yes, they are making a Space Jam 2 and that has been announced. So I'm super excited to be a part of it. Time's up! How do you think you did? I think I did pretty good. It looks like a bootleg Snow White that you would find on a backpack in a dollar store. It's part of the yeah. draw off off brand character universe? Yeah. I think she should be the president. Okay. Election season's coming up. Did you guys register to vote? I think I did all right. The eyes are a little weird, so that's the first thing you're gonna roast me for. I like roasted carrots mm -hmm. and roasted cauliflowers. Those are my two favorite roasted vegetables. You know what? I drew a cowable character that has a blue dress okay. and great hair. And what about you? What'd you think? Like I said, I think this looks more like a cartoon character cosplaying Belle, but like she's cute. I feel like I got the essence of her but very off model. Oh, wow! What? Dang! Wow, Whoa. you drew her. Okay, well, well now I'm jealous. You like elevated Elsa to like a new <laughs> level here. Marvel presents Elsa the badass. And this is like her hair, it looks like this. I totally forgot that there was this long braid. You really remind, Ooh. this is what she looks like. In my, I like it, clicked the second I saw this. Oh, The eyes aren't that creepy. Okay. I get some Jackie applause. Three of them. Yours, of course, is super cute. Thanks. It's very Jackie. I will say, I think her shoulder things uh -huh. are white and not yellow. Do you think so? I think so. Oh, you're probably right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We, yeah, you know we, what? We did something kind of similar. We were both channeling. She loves books, right? We literally channeled like this, like same sort of pose and everything. I love yours. Yours is so adorable and structured though. It looks so professional. Um, no, no thank you. But <laughs> I appreciate your kindness. Yeah, she you is. Her. Yeah. She's got exposed uh, shoulders. Her shoulders, yeah. This is like cosplay Elsa. I think someone would put that yeah. If they were designing it. Okay, thank you. Well, her sleeves are not white. Wow, yeah, we both messed that up. I forgot that, like, there's so many animals involved. Yeah. But, like, I remember she, like, can sing to them. She goes, like, ah. 
ah, and the birds come. That is a wonderful rendering. Thank you. Of her song. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Okay. I, we, you know what? I feel proud of us. Yeah. I think we did pretty good. We're on the same wavelength. I must admit, you, you got uh, far closer, I feel like. And on top of it, did not work on the film. So if there's got to be a win, I think it goes your way. No, right? there's no winners. What? Like, there's no winners? <laughs> Great work, Kevin. Great work, Jackie. Thank you. I think we both did OK. For a character that is 83 years old, I think we did all right. She looks great for 83. You're doing all right, Snow White. Snow White, here's to looking at you, kid. Okay, if you want to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos Medium Tablet, courtesy of our good friends at Wacom, all you have to do is go to the official Draw Off Show Instagram, that's at Draw Off Show, find this post, and follow the instructions. Knock, knock. Who's there? Atch. Atch? Who? Bless you. <sighs> Walked right into that one. Do you just dab? Who dabs? I dab. Okay. I dab. All right. <laughs>